Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time, thank you so much for being here. Today's tutorial is gonna be a 100% drugstore and I'm gonna show you how I got this blue glitter cut crease. I use all drugstore products as well as the brushes. I really hope you all enjoy this tutorial. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you were not subscribed already. So let's get so started. I picked up this um, Wet n Wild eyeliner in the color black brown. I'm gonna use that to do my brows. Ooh, and the tip is kind of fine. So I've just taken a spoolie. This one is from Elf, I believe. I haven't done my brows with a pencil in so long. Hope I remember how to do it. I'm taking an angle brush, also from Elf to clean them up. And I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toffee as well. I don't know how people do brows before foundation because by the time I go in and beat my face with that beauty sponge, like those brows are gone. Let me just blend it out a bit more. Like, could you imagine me doing my foundation after my brows with this uh, giant sponge? The struggle. All right, so the brows are done. I think I'm gonna go on with a little bit of the fawn just to brighten up the under eye area just a little bit this one has kind of dried up a little bit so I feel like it gives a little bit more coverage so I don't need that that much this thing this thing darling put the concealer down all right let's blend this out so now I'm going to go in and set with the elf hd corrective yellow powder and I'm just going to use the Real technique sponge to do that. To contour my face, I'm going to go in with the Skin Color Bold Brow Palette that I always use, and I'm going to be using a Real Techniques contour brush. This is my first time using Real Techniques brushes, but I've heard good things about them, so I think we'll be good. Yep, we're good. Well, this is nice. This one, wow. That apply that contour really nicely. This is applying this contour really nicely. I might this might be my new contour brush. I like to do my contour and then go in and do some reverse contouring. I'm gonna use the toffee color to do the reverse contouring. Just to make that contour pop. And now I'm just going to set that area with that same e.l.f. powder. I'm going to use this side of the sponge. Oh, that's giving me a nice line. So I'm basically done with my highlighting and concealing for now. All right, so I'm going to take this e.l.f. complexion brush and I'm going to dust off the excess powder and kind of pick some of that powder up into the contour area as well. I'm going to use the Real Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush. And I'm going to take that LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toffee and I'm going to highlight down the bridge of my nose. And then I'm going to set that with the powder. If you watch my videos with any uh, regularity, you know that I love the Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder in Milk Chocolate. Today, I'm going to try some different powders. I have the Black Radiant Suppressed Powder, and this is in the color Rich Mahogany, and then I have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Powder, and this is in the color Mocha. So I'm gonna do one on this side and one on this side. So let's start with the, ooh, this has a mirror. Fanciful. And I'm gonna take that on an e.l.f. powder brush. This is one of my favorite brushes in life. And I'm gonna do the same technique I use with the soft focus finishing powder. And just push it into the skin and then buff. Pretty, pretty good. So I think I did a pretty good job. I'm gonna go in with the Black Radiance uh, Press Powder and this is in the color Rich Mahogany and see how that one works. This looks a little cooler compared to the Fit Me powder. Let me put them side by side so you guys can see. Like redder almost. This is like warmer, this is redder, but whatever. I'm sure to be fine. And I'm gonna do the same technique. 
push the powder into my skin and then buff. So this is the rich mahogany side. Rich mahogany over here. Cocoa over here. Maybelline cocoa over here. So I think they look pretty good. I think they both look pretty good. So I think these are a good substitute for the Black Radiant Self Focus Finishing Powder if for whatever reason you can't get your hand on them. I think it really just comes down to the technique. So for the eyes, I picked up this Wet n Wild Eau Naturelle eyeshadow palette. It looks really beautiful. Splashed it a little bit and I'm kind of uh, excited to play with this. We're gonna go in with this um, maroon red color right here. We're gonna blend that all through our crease and transition area. These shadows are really buttery. I'm not sure what kind of look I'm going for yet, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go for the best. You know what? Maybe I'll do like a rounded cut crease. I normally do like a lifted cut crease, but I don't know. I've been thinking maybe I should try a different shape. And I want to give you guys a drugstore look that's not like super simple. I don't know. I know some of you guys probably want a simple look, but I just feel like I want to show you guys that you can create some really dramatic looks using drugstore products. Now this palette is really beautiful, but the colors are kind of you know, neutral-ish. Nothing wrong with that, but okay. I'm going to clean off that same brush and I'm going to go in with this color right next to it. And I'm going to blend that right in this area right here. Just to make it appear a little bit more blend it out. Tone it down a little bit too. Because it is quite dark. I did prime my lids with the concealer because I did that when I was doing my whole face. Oh, that's pretty. And now we're going to go in with this Real Techniques Detail Brush. We're going to pick up this um, dark brown. It's on the cool side. And we're going to place that slightly above our crease. I'm surprised that that red is showing up like so dark. I thought it'd be a little um, more red, actually. These colors are showing up, guys. This um was only $6.99. I think it was uh, buy one, get one half off. So the other thing that I got was a mascara. So then we're going to go back into that blending brush and we're going to pick up that reddish maroon color again. And we're going to blend basically all over this uh, brown line that we laid down. I will say this palette, it's got a lot of pretty colors, but I feel like they're on the uh, cooler side. So yeah, I'm just using that uh, maroon reddish color to buff out that brown. I'm really kind of bringing it down into my inner eye corner more so than usual today. Oh, this is already looking so good. I'm excited. I'm so excited. So I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toffee. I don't want the lid to be too light. And I'm going to carve out my lid and I'm going to use that um, detailer brush from Real Techniques to do that. I'm just following the natural curve of my crease and just trying to make sure that where I'm cutting the crease is really sharp. And I am taking it a little bit higher than my natural crease. I'm also going to use the Maybelline Color Tattoo Pure Pigment. And this is in the color Brash Blue. And I'm going to place that all over the lid. And I'm going to use that same Real Techniques Detailer Brush. I've just cleaned it up. And I'm just going to pack that on the lid. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm excited. Yes. I'm still not entirely sure where I'm going with this look, so let's just try to do one eye first. Before I uh, go any further, I'm gonna set my under eye area. This is a pigment, so there's definitely some fallout. So definitely set your under eye area with some powder to prevent that. And you're just setting all over the concealer. I don't know why I felt like doing blue today. All right, so I'm going to go in with a little sponge that this came with, and I'm going to pick up the black color from that Wet n Wild palette, and I'm going to place that on the outer third of my eye. 
All right, guys, so now I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild glitter, and I think this is in the color Distortion, kind of like a light blue, and I'm gonna place that on my lid. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna pick up that black shadow from the palette and I'm going to deepen the base of that crease. It's gonna clean it up and make it sharper as well. I just wanna show you guys that yes, I do use Morphe brushes in a lot of my tutorials, but you don't have to, you know? You can get some drugstore brushes and you can work with what you have. All right, so I did the other eye off camera and I'm liking the way that things are looking. You know, we're getting some cut crease drama realness. Um, I do want to say that the glitter, it looks nice, but it's not the best. It's a bit like sticky. Um, I think that I probably would prefer like a loose glitter over this, but it works for today. And I don't know what I'm going to do with my lower lash line. <sighs> I'm kind of feeling like maybe I shouldn't do anything. It just like I always do my lower lash line, but I'm thinking like, you know, it's the look to not have your lower lash line done. You know what I mean? So for liner, I'm going to be using the NYC liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to give myself a wing liner. Let's add some lashes. <laughs> Let's add mascara and lashes. So I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. So for lashes, I'm gonna apply the Ardell Demi Wispies. I'm gonna use the little brush that it came with and I'm going to pick up this color right here and I'm going to place that in my inner eye corner. For my bottom lashes, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Renegade Mascara. I love the packaging of this, it's so cute. And the best part is that it's got this little tip, this little ball tip that's perfect for lower lash. All right, so I'm actually really filling the look without the lower lash line, you know, without any extraness on the lower lash line. So now I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face and I'm going to add some warmth back to my face using my CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer. And I'm going to take that on an e.l.f. complexion brush. I'm not gonna be using blush today, so I'm gonna take that a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. I'm gonna take it around the perimeter of my face. Ooh, see what bronzer does? Bronzer brings the look together. For highlight, I'm gonna go in with my City Color Highlight Trio and I'm gonna use a combination of these first two shades right here and I'm gonna take that on an e.l.f. fan brush. I'm going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow area and maybe a little bit underneath my brow. Then I'm going to go back in with that e.l.f. complexion brush that we used for the bronzer and just diffuse that. I'm going to take the fan brush and that middle highlighter shade and hit my brow bone. I'm going to use my finger to highlight the tip of my nose and down the bridge. So for lips, I'm first gonna line them with the Jordana Lip Liner, and this is in the color Mulberry Cream. And then I'm gonna go in with this LA Colors Matte Lip Liquid Lipstick, and it's in the color Suede. It's kind of a cool toned nude, so we'll see. It feels really liquidy. It doesn't feel really thick. Seems a bit ashy on me. Let's top it with this LA Colors lip gloss and this is in the color Fresh. To finish things off, I'm going to set my face with my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. my loves that completes this drugstore tutorial i really hope you all enjoyed it if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you are not subscribed already thank you so much for watching and until next time have a marvelous day